Welcome to a new video and in this video I want to show you the brand new update to Huawei's app gallery which changed the design of the app gallery. So let's get started and take a look at the new app gallery. This is the new design. You can see it looks a bit different than the old version. You can see the featured page looks now like this. It has big tiles here just like for example an advertisement for a game. If I click on this I get like more information about the game. I can scroll through and get all the features of the game um, pretty nice and easy. And you have also like the 10% points back for downloading some games, New Year campaign. So if there's a campaign uh, going on, in this case I'm having the uh, German version. Uh, this is why it's in German. Then we have the campaign and uh, the gift option here, very prominent and very big uh, in comparison to the old one where it has only small icons. And if you click on gift, you have like you go to the gift section of the app gallery. So this didn't change so much. It's still basically the same as it was before. And then you have your new apps we love section with all the applications that are loved by the um, uh, Huawei people. And you have also the po uh, option to go to popular here and scroll through the list. And then you have a yeah, scrolling banner here through which shows us games, but you cannot scroll manually, you can just stop it and you can click on one uh, to go to the games section here. And also you have the new games we love section here, where you have like, uh, yeah, you can click on this, it's just the banner and the new games we love, so it's basically one thing. And you have bigger tiles at the bottom, uh, new user kits for you, for example, where they have like a collection of applications for new users, which is pretty interesting. Uh, depending, of course, also on the region, you can see some of those apps are already have installed. You can scroll down here and it will add new and new uh, applications in here. And translate and have fun. So if you need translation tools, here's, for example, one uh, advertisement for a translation tool. And you can scroll down, you go to you can have a big tile of Telegram, for example, or some other applications, some winning things here, some big tiles here in this uh, version. So this is the featured section, has been a little bit revamped, as you can see. If we uh, take a look at the bottom, you can see, besides the featured tab, we have a change. So we have now two categories, apps and games at the bottom, as you can see here, apps and games and the me tab so there's no uh, manager tab or top applications or categories anymore so if you go to apps it looks a little bit more like the old version where you have like uh, banners at the top you can scroll through where they show you some apps and uh, yeah advertisement for apps and then you have like a big campaign and a big uh, wish list button here which is a lot bigger than in the old version and then you have the top rated apps here this is i think pretty much like the old version looked like and uh, in innovative apps as well we can scroll through and some top collections which is new so they collect some yeah, applications for a specific topic just like for example developed by mobi system so you have like all the applications developed by the mobi system company here in a collection or Radio FM, which is I think only one application in this case, which allows you to listen to radio and the best apps of 2020, for example. Also a nice little list. Uh, and here you can see, yeah, in different categories, what, what were the best apps on Huawei App Gallery. So this is pretty nicely done, I would say. And I think it makes more sense to have like an apps section and a game section. So if you go to games, we have only games here. And uh, for people who like to play games, this is, I think, pretty good. Uh, and you have also a wish list and a campaign again. And you have the games here and a pre-order even for interesting games is possible as well, as well as a game ranking system and so on. And of course, there's bigger tiles for cool games. And then you have the me section where you have all the other things like for example back in the day you had to go to the manager to go to the updates here in the me section you have like the updates button and it will show you all the updates skipped updates and so on that you can see here and of course you have your wish list you have your pre-orders reviews gifts and everything else that you need to do like installation manager quick app manager or installation packages or cleanup even help settings or check for updates is possible here under the me tab i think it's a good uh, cleanup so you don't have so many categories at the bottom only uh, 
uh, four categories here and they are pretty nicely done and I think the featured tab needs a bit of work for the tablet still you can see there's like one banner missing here so there's some uh, for the tablet version at least um, how does it look on the smartphone let's take a look at the smartphone let's close this down and take a look at the smartphone this is the smartphone version as you can see it looks a little bit uh, better on the smartphone already has uh, you have only one big tile at the top and then you have like the option to go here uh, apps that we love and uh, games that we love and some other tiling uh, stuff here as you can see here uh, this works a lot better looks a lot better but you have the same kind of tab navigation with apps and uh, where you have all your apps here and you have this carousel of apps you can scroll through and the same goes for games so this is the brand new user interface of the Huawei app gallery and uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed this little video about the Huawei app gallery if you have some questions you can down uh, write them down in the comment section. What do you think about the new design of the Huawei App Gallery? Is this one step forward or is it one step backwards? Um, I really would like to know what you think about the new redesign of the Huawei App Gallery. That's everything for this little video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.